In this lesson, we will discuss the energy grade line and hydraulic grade line. Here we have the conservation of energy equation for a control volume with one inlet and one outlet when the flow is steady and one dimensional. All terms have units of length and are called heads. We now define two new quantities called the energy grade line or EGL and the hydraulic grade line or HGL which will help us visualize the mechanical energy in a flow. EGL is the pressure head P over gamma plus the velocity head V average squared over 2G plus the elevation head Z and will represent the total mechanical energy in the flow. HGL is just the pressure head plus the elevation head and will represent the total potential energy in the flow. EGL minus HGL gives the velocity head the term representing the total kinetic energy in a flow. Here's an example of how the energy grade line and hydraulic grade line can help us visualize how the mechanical energy in a fluid changes as the fluid flows through various devices. On the left, we have a large reservoir that is connected to a pipe system. The liquid level at the top of the reservoir is a distance L from the ground. We will assume that the reservoir is so large that the height does not change significantly in time, which means we have a steady flow situation. At the top of the reservoir, the flow speed is zero, the gauge pressure is zero, and the elevation is L. Since the velocity is zero, both the EGL and HGL curves at the top of the reservoir are equal to the height L. When the liquid travels through the sharp edged entrance into the pipe system, the liquid will gain velocity and will experience frictional loss due to separated flow at the entrance. The frictional loss causes a steep decline in the total mechanical energy, which is represented by a steep decline in the EGL. However, the HGL declines more rapidly than the EGL since some of the potential energy of the liquid also is converted into kinetic energy. In the section of straight pipe, the pressure drops gradually due to friction caused by the pipe wall. Since the flow speed is constant in the pipe, the slope of the EGL and HGL curves decline by the same amount. At any point along the flow, the distance from the ground to the fluid is the elevation head Z. The distance from the fluid to the HGL curve is the pressure head P over gamma, and the distance between the HGL and EGL curves is the velocity head V average squared over 2G. Both the EGL and HGL curves drop rapidly at the valve since valves usually induce separated flow, causing a rapid loss in pressure head. After the valve, the EGL and HGL curves continue to decline due to pipe friction. Pumps boost mechanical energy, primarily through an increase in pressure, and so both the EGL and HGL curves rise sharply at the pump. After the pump, fluid travels through a pipe and then a nozzle. Nozzles accelerate flows while lowering pressure, usually without inducing significant flow separation. This means that the EGL curve declines gradually through the pipe and nozzle. The HGL curve declines at the same rate through the pipe, but then drops rapidly at the nozzle since the velocity head increases at the expense of the pressure head. Following the nozzle, the liquid travels through a smaller diameter pipe resulting in a more rapid drop in pressure and steeper EGL and HGL curves. Turbines extract mechanical energy from flows, so both the EGL and HGL curves decrease sharply at the turbine. Following the turbine, the EGL and HGL curves decrease gradually due to pipe friction. Since the pressure at the exit of the pipe system is atmospheric, which is zero gauge, the HGL curve is just the elevation at the exit. The HGL curve can be observed by creating a series of static pressure taps along the pipe system. The height of the liquid line in the pressure taps will be equal to the hydraulic grade line at those points. The EGL curve can be observed by using a series of L-shaped tubes, which are called pitot tubes, in the pipe system. The height of the water line in the pitot tubes is equal to the energy grade line at those points. In this example, the HGL and EGL curves are shown as changing sharply when encountering a new device. In reality, the shape of the curves will be smoother. 
However, this example does show the general behavior of the HGL and EGL curves.